the restriction of movement into and out of Winduk, Okahandia, Rehoboth, local authority areas has helped to contain the spread of the disease to other parts of the country. However, data confirms that the entire country is now characterized by widespread community transmission. In order to suppress further transmission of the virus, we are taking the difficult but necessary measure to extend the restriction in travel to all regions, to all regions. No travel will be permitted between regions. However, travel within the regions will be permitted. Returning residents, essential service providers, emergency medical cases, and transportation of human remains for burial purposes will be permitted entry and exit into restricted regions with the relevant permit. The nationwide curfew has been maintained with an hour's adjustment to start at 9 p.m. until 4 o'clock in the morning. Public gatherings will still be limited to 10 people while alcohol on-site consumption is prohibited. Liquor traders are only allowed to sell between 9 o'clock in the morning and 1800 hours on a takeaway basis. With exception of hospitality establishments such as guest houses, hotels and similar establishments where residing guests may access on-site amenities. No alcohol outlet will be permitted to operate on Fridays and Saturdays. Six, all food establishments are to serve food on takeaway basis only, including restaurants, food ventures, and cabana traders. Seven, hairdressers, tailors, beauty parlors will remain open, subject to strict adherence to public health regulations. High risk activities and places such as the gyms, nightclubs, and casinos are to remain closed. President Gengop says the response measures are not meant to be punitive and will be reviewed regularly depending on the curve of the infections, deaths, as well as recoveries. Government President Gengop says is expected to announce whether the deadly Delta variant is present in Namibia on Friday despite clear indications. The mutations in this particular variant evades the body's immunity faster and is 60% more transmissible, according to the World Health Organization. Blanche Corres, NBC News. I have always reiterated that the health of Namibians remains the first priority, and a balance must therefore be found in protecting life and livelihoods. While a full social and economic lockdown is proven to be effective in slowing transmission rates, it must be used sparingly, as it also spares adverse effects to economy, business jobs, and livelihoods. Under the current circumstances facing our country, this difficult step must be taken. Government President Gengop says is expected to announce whether the deadly Delta variant is present in Namibia on Friday despite clear indications. The mutations in this particular variant evades the body's immunity faster and is 60% more transmissible according to the World Health Organization. Blanche Corres, NBC News.